George Nelson was one of the most important American designers of the 20th, 20th century. He's uh, today known uh, most of all for his um, furniture designs, uh, lamp designs, clock designs, so everything that's concerning the house, um, um, the furnishings and of the house and home accessories. But what we wanted to show with this exhibition is that he was actually an all-round talent, that he was at home in many different um, design disciplines. He was a studied architect, he was an interior designer, um, he was doing graphic design, um, organizing many exhibitions. Um, and this is something we're trying to uh, underline with this exhibition. Well, there's one, uh, one reason, of course, to do this exhibition now is that he turned 100 years old this year, so these anniversaries are always a very nice occasion. Um, on the other hand, I think that many of his approaches are still very up-to-date, very contemporary today. Um, one being the fact that he was very much of a um, system designer that, who devised systems that are very economical to, to produce while at the same time providing very individual solutions to the customer. Another reason being that he had a very wide understanding of what design is. He enlarged the, the, des the, the design term or the idea, the concept of design from the design of a single product to the design of a whole company, to, to corporate design, to the designing of a corporate image. And he also looked at the whole man-made environment as being designed, as everything that surrounds us um, is being designed as being the result of a, of a conscious decision to, to, to make something. And that we should have, that was his, his main thesis or something he was, he was always asking for, that we should have a very um, open eye for the, these surroundings and have a critical view of these man-made environments. We're having five sections in, in this exhibition. The first one is dealing with Nelson's concept of education. In this part of the exhibition, we're showing several historical films and slideshows that he devised. In a second exhibition, we're dealing with his um, work as an exhibition designer, an exhibition organizer. Here we're showing um, several models of the, uh, or all related to the American National Exhibition in Moscow in 1959, of which he was the chief designer. In the third section, we're showing everything that deals with his preoccupation with the house, with the construction of the house and the furnishings of the house. Here, naturally, we're showing all of his known, well-known furniture designs, but also much lesser known designs that I think will be a discovery uh, for many, even those who know Nelson. And we're showing a model of his experimental house, which is really an exemplification of his approach to architecture, prefab architecture, modular architecture. And in the fifth section, we're dealing with his preoccupation with the office, um, which was taking place mainly in the 1960s, and some of the office furniture that he created.
I think the best known designs of Nelson are those that are still being manufactured today, the marshmallow sofa or the coconut chair, the so-called bubble lamps, uh, lamps with a wire framing onto which uh, a plastic has been sprayed, or of course the many wall clocks of which he designed about a hundred different models. George Nelson plays a decisive role in the history of Vitra and even more so in, in the history of Herman Miller. Herman Miller is a, a furniture manufacturer um, for which he started to design in 1945 and soon became the design director of the company, meaning he did not only create furniture for them but also started to um, create and design the whole um, outer appearance of the company, logos, advertising, catalogs, etc. Vitra, again, was a licensee to Herman Miller in, starting in 1957. Um, Vitra's interest in Herman Miller was uh, predominantly, at least in the beginning, uh, because of the furniture designed by Charles Eames. Charles Eames was a designer that George Nelson had invited or recommended to Herman Miller um, sort of as a competitor to himself, nevertheless. Um, and uh, so Vitra was, this, was manufacturing Nelson and Eames furniture starting in, in 1957. And today um, is a licensee of the people holding the rights to Nelson and Eames furniture themselves, so they're not depending on Herman Miller anymore in this regard. The exhibition will be presented here in Weil am Rhein from September 13th until March 1st in 2009.